Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, I have a reaction to the episode of Club Shay Shay uh, with Cat Williams this week, and which actually broke the internet. Now, today I looked on before recording this video, and uh, it's at 13 million views, and it was just re it was just released within days. Now, Black Hollywood, the comedians, they shaking in their boots. You know, Twitter's going crazy. Everybody's responding, wanting to know how they feel about Cat Williams exposing the industry. And a lot of the things that he has said are confirmed. Because when, you know, they're drinking on some of that uh, that good cognac, um, and then he's feeling a little saucy. But most of the things, I would say at least 60% of the things that he said is true. Okay, that's lit, you know, that has been confirmed. Now, but one thing that I know that he was tripping on is when he said, you know, he's in shape, he run every day, and, and he runs a 4-3 in a 40-yard dash. And then he said, matter of fact, I'm sub 4-3, more like a 4-1. And Shannon Sharp clowned him and said, sub what? There's a Jimmy John's across the street. But Cat Williams, he was embellishing a little bit. He was a little saucy because, you know, I know some people say, you know, he, he probably do. No, no, no chance that he has ever ran a 4-3 anything. Now, the fastest player in the 2023 uh, NFL Combine was DJ Turner II, a quarterback from Michigan, and he ran a 4-2-6. Now, the fastest official times as it's in the 40-yard um, dash are 4 twos. Now, when people say they run a 4-1, you know, they're, it's unofficial, but in the Combine, you know, the fastest has been documented as a 4-2-2 in a 40. So he was just a little saucy on that one. But he has the industry shaken. Now, as a comedian, as an actor, um, you know, Cat Williams has exposed and he's exposing, you know, things that we kind of heard about and we knew that was true or some of the things that he said, you know, some of the things that goes on. But um, he came with receipts. He came with receipts. So when he got on Steve Harvey about the Steve Harvey show and he started talking about Mark Curry it brought, you know, made us remember that Mark Curry did have a show called Hanging with Mr. Cooper, the same premise, the same concept. So the pattern is that the individuals that have that, you know, that inner circle, those gatekeepers, you know, they basically keep it in house and they pretty much, you know, you know, just basically steal material ideas. And if you look at, you know, the joke about, Cedric the Entertainer, how he closed out Kings of Comedy. Now, that was true. I remember seeing it on Comic View. I remember doing the same thing. You know, so I'm like, wait a minute. So the industry, just think of the people that are successful and have literally sold their souls. And according to um, Cat Williams, sold their booty hoes. Um, look how they have basically been, been successful, how they've grown. And then now the cover is coming up because when you look at the most successful, powerful, influential individuals in Hollywood, they've been exposed for being, you know, doing some things, being bisexual, you know, participating in, in homosexual sex and gay sex, I would say, because when he said he did all of this and, and got to the height of where he's at right now with a virgin booty hole, us men with virgin booty holes understand because now is the time for heterosexual men to replace the people who's been holding it down because the gatekeepers are real. The gatekeepers are being exposed. They are literally being exposed in 2024 because time's up. All things that's not of God has an expiration date. And right now, things are coming down big time because when he talked about Ricky Smiley in the dress, I, oh man, it came first Sunday. When he talking about Kevin Hart putting the dress on, I mean, I'm sitting there like, wait a minute. And you think about what happened with Dave Chappelle, then, you know, it is what it is. And this is why they fear heterosexual men, because heterosexual men have a moral compass and somehow, some way we can't hide, hide from the truth. This is why they are trying to destroy Donald Trump, because he is one of those insiders. He's an elitist. He knows their secrets. And he came out with guns and he's telling the secrets, just like Cat Williams was kind of blackballed out of certain roles and certain parts in the industry because of what? 
He's telling the truth. He's exposing Hollywood. And we have to you know, take some of this stuff seriously because he actually has been in the industry. He's been in these rooms and he knows what's going on. But man, I finally finished it last night. I didn't have two hours and 20 minutes to just sit around. So I had to watch it in pieces, man. But it was, like I said, it broke the internet. Over 13 views and it's only been up for a couple of days. But Cat Williams is, is exposing the industry. So that, I mean, like I said, that's, that's my take on it. That's my reaction, but on a somber note, on a somber note, you know, yeah, on a somber note. And uh, we got to send out some prayers. So please pray, please pray, send out some prayers for Fat Joe.